What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. There is a high tension in Edo State right now, and uh, Godwin Obaseki have just threatened brimstone on fire and said that if they want violence, they will give them violence. And this is coming after his posters and you know um, billboard were all defaced and destroyed by people uh, suspected to be APC uh, thugs. So today, Obaseki have threatened that he is going to give them violence. And uh, this is not going to be very good because um, if a government, you know, you can't really fight the government. If a government unleashes its uh, might on you, I don't think opposition will be able to actually uh, contain uh, that. So I'm going to play you here when Obaseki is actually, actually said this. And then we'll be back. And then you also hear the previous time he actually controlled himself. He complained about his posters being destroyed by APC thugs and said he was going to apply self-restraint. And you also see the moment Ize Iyamu actually amassed thugs, you get. He ordered them to go around the entire Edo and with a mission. So uh, just watch out. They've destroyed generations of kids, left them on the streets, and they want to use these people to consume each other. They are not campaigning on what they can do because they have no records of what they've done. They know they will not win elections in this place. So what have they decided? Propaganda, lies, violence. They say they will come in, they will bring boys, they will come into those polling units, and they will make sure that our votes don't count. I, I wish them well. <laughs> I, I, I wish them well. When I have all of you, let me see how they will come. You know, you will mobilize for yourselves. Yes. Four plus four. Oh, Nobody yeah. has monopoly of violence. Yes. If they want violence, we will show them violence. Yes. So if I see anybody, if you see anybody smashing any cars because my sticker or poster is in the car, let us know and we will show that person that we are government. We will show them that we are in government. And I am governor, Philip is deputy governor. We are the only two who have immunity in the state. Yes. We are the only two people today who have immunity in the state. Yes. And I am sending a very clear warning, very, very clear. If I find anybody misbehaving, no matter who you have been, I will arrest you and I will deal with you. All right, guys. So this is the moment um, uh, Baseke complained of his postals being defaced. And this was our last week. So, according to him, he said he's going to apply restraint in the front of provocation. So, I want to listen to him and then I'll be back. We, uh, even though I'm the chief security officer of the state and I have all state powers, I believe that those powers should be used responsibly and with restraint, particularly in the face of provocations. You have seen and witnessed um, what the other party has been doing in the state and some of their sponsors. We have seen youths tearing uh, uh, my posters and banners across the state. We have seen vehicles being attacked and their windscreens broken for having my stickers on their cars. Um, all of these are attempts to, pro to provoke me, but I am cognizant of the fact that I'm just not a candidate, but I am the governor and I shall use the state power, the power which the Constitution has given me uh, with discretion and moderation. But that does not mean that the state is weak or I'm weak as a governor. It's just that I believe in respecting human rights and once we apprehend any of those perpetrators, no matter how powerful, no matter how rich they claim to be, I will make sure that the law takes its course. All right, guys, so this is another video that surfaced online. I think I did a video on this and um this is the moment you see is Iyamo actually um amassing thugs you get for the upcoming a state election 
So, Kolibida, these are the boys that have started defacing and destroying um, Obasekis, you know, posters around the states. So, Obaseki I've threatened is this will be met with violence for violence, you guys. So, this is um, heightening fears in a Dora citizen because, man, if two elephants fight, what do you guess is going to suffer? It is the people. So this is not good at all. It will appear as if it, it, it will be as an intercourt war. You get so that is your so could it be that Obaseki is going to also amass his own tongues and use it on APC? We are waiting to see how this is going to be. You know, for some time now, um, I'm going to play the video. Now let me play the video of about Ize Iyamu addressing the tongues and mandating them on what to do. Our candidates that will emerge in 2020 general election, Pastor Usagi Zayamu. That's why we are here today. <laughs> and why we are here is to show our excellency, economy excellency, that we the soldier, we are not relenting. Before we came here, there was an event that shows that Zayamu has become a movement. The entire local government coordinators for Dr. Chris Ogibonyi campaign organization held a meeting with us in the campaign office at Etiti. <laughs> and they said they had a message from Chris Ogibonyi that said they should collapse their structure and work with us as a political family. Please go back to your local government. Make you go deliver. Now who we want to I tell you, I tell you. Now I tell you. This election will be Operation Show Your Result. Operation Show Your Result. And that operation, make I tell you now the truth. Now many of you go favor. Amen. Because what you now feel do many big men only feel one. I want to show you that say things go good. Yeah. Yeah. The garden you are seeing today is the think local government lions and the tigers that normally protect our vote. Why we call on this meeting today is for men for we to protect our vote, for we to go out there and compare to our mothers and fathers that is not getting the light constantly, so that they should know what is going on so that they should hear the voice of our campaign. That is why this meeting was called today. And, so, and secondly, we now use the opportunity to endorse him as our street lions and tigers, the governors of Edo State. We endorse him today. So, so brothers and sisters, join us for a good development of Edo State. So, join us for good empowerment of Edo State. So, join us for betterness for Edo State. We endorse it because we also want to show him our charisma, that when we not only vote, we will vote and secure the vote until I make the claim as a governor of Edo State. All right, so guys, you've seen that, that our violence is going to actually erupt and Obaseki have said he is going to arrest whosoever is involved in violence. No matter how highly placed you are, you are going to be arrested. So we pray that things do not spiral out of control. And uh, we don't want to see a repeat of what happened in Kogi State and also Kanu State. APC avowed that we're going to win back in those states. Remember what Gandhi just said? I'm, I'm not going to play the video there. The video is uh, in YouTube. So you can watch that video. They have threatened... They are going to win back a those state and you know so the, it is not uh, actually uh, they are not happy that Obaseki had to move with entire structure of APC to PDP and collapsed APC structure in the state. So this is the very difficult times and we pray that um, the violence should not spiral out of control even though I know there will be level of violence but man we pray that let these people who are perpetuating this violence let violence be their own portion so what do you guys think please drop your comment below let me know what you think share this video to your friends on facebook twitter instagram and other social media platform god bless you as you watch 
after watching this video. Thanks and remain blessed.